Why are you on my phone? Why are you on? Hello? Ah, oh, I can't. <laughs> can you fucking hear me? <laughs> yes. Seriously. I can hear you. Oh my god, what is wrong okay? with you? Oh, yeah, I can hear you fine. Oh my god. You can't see this, but it, I'm can. showing I'm showing people my mm -hmm. magic mouse which is right, smashed okay. into a million pieces. Oh like, wow. Like I mean okay. I just I just attacked it and smashed it a bits on my desk and threw it at a wall. So it's oh. literally it's made of glass which I didn't know. A oh, focus wow. you shit lens. Oh, I I'm I'm at the end of my tether today. I'm I've oh, okay. I'm that close to going just cancel the podcast. I retire. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Do you know what it was, right? Everything was set up 4 hours ago, ready uh -huh. to rock, okay? I took yeah. the kids out, came back. It was all set, everything was ready to rock. Uh, uh, the audition was ready, everything was sitting there. Sat down, mm -hmm. tested it all, ready to rock, said to you to phone me, and then you started phoning, and while it was ringing in my ears, it just mm -hmm. went Bluetooth disconnected from oh disconnect oh, my headphones disconnected from iPhone, and I was like what what <laughs> and then it went connected to MacBook Pro and I was like no no don't this so I went to the MacBook Pro and went disconnect headphones and then it went disconnected <coughs> headphones and I was like sick, and then I went to answer you, and then the Bluetooth disconnected everything, the Bluetooth just everything disconnected from the Bluetooth on the computer, so I couldn't control the computer to reconnect the Bluetooth because the mouse wouldn't connect and the keyboard wouldn't connect and I couldn't plug in the wired keyboard because I've only got two available ports and currently it's the hard drive that I'm recording onto and the mic <laughs> that's plugged in so I couldn't do anything to the computer I was just looking at it going I don't know what to do and then it went connected to iPhone and then you could hear I could hear you but there was no audio <laughs> from me going to anyone so then in a fit oh. of rage, I just smashed up the mouse. Like into actual bits. Oh, okay. Great. So I threw Can't it against the wall. It, ex see that. it exploded like a glass. Mm -hmm. Like so if you if you ever want to know what it's like to throw a mag one of the glass magic mice at a wall, it exploded like a like a glass jar with its lid on. So there you go. Alright. Wow, I've I've got a magic mouse somewhere. I need to look at it and have a have a look see I don't, i'm not going to smash mine but yeah the problem is really is that you've got all that crap connected to your laptop and you should just use it as a laptop um well it's just that there's a well there's a hard drive mm. which is pretty standard and there's the mic that has to be plugged in yeah and then and then there's the, the monitor that needs to don't be plugged in and don't then i know i do because my monitor and my macbook's broken Oh yeah. So I can't course. use a MacBook monitor. So I have to have an external monitor. And then I've got the um uh the USB C mic uh lap MacBook, which is like a a dick show, basically, because mm. you can't plug anything into it. So unless you want four thousand dongles that's my dongle that's overloaded by the way. There's two ports plugged into one port and I've got no ports. So it's like oh wow. for the love of God. Today's been a great so, day, by the way. It's literally just been the last ten minutes. I went in I went from fine to full foot fit of rage. Wow. So, wow. So there you go. Okay. Well, I, I feel the, should I, should I bring the tempo down a bit more? Well, if you want. Tempo no, there's down. nothing. Tem oh, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm saying. To be quite Meanwhile, honest. all right. Meanwhile, the Weber is outside and I wanted to cook dinner. So last night, mm -hmm. okay. You and I have talked about this before. What time do you eat dinner at? Oh, I don't know, so 8 o'clock, 7.30, yeah. 8 o'clock So for me, yeah. 7, 7.30 is dinner time. Pamela and I mm -hmm. have been, we'll have been married 10 years next year, right? Yeah. We've been together 12, 11 and a half years or something like that. Mm. And she still thinks that I eat dinner at 5 o'clock. So yesterday, we were going to have like, I don't know, burgers or something like that in the barbecue. And at like mm. 6.30, she was like, why is that? Why is the food not on the barbecue? And I was like, barbecue's not even lit, love. And she was like, why not? It should have been lit an hour ago. So I got anyway. I got an earful for it, and I was like, I'm not lighting the barbecue. We eat dinner late. Apparently, we don't. So I got an earful for it yesterday, and yeah. then today, I took the kids out for a walk, and then when I got back, she was standing there, tapping her foot, <laughs> looking at me. 
Well, she wasn't really. But I, I walked in. She was like, well, we'll light this barbecue because we're going to do a roast chicken on the on the um, Weber. It takes like an hour and mm-hmm. a half to, to cook the chicken. But you have to get the Weber to the right temperature, which is a pain in the ass. So I'm literally lighting a barbecue and watching it, just going, get to the right, like watching a, 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 a kettle boil, just waiting. Please go. And behind me is yeah. Stalin, just standing behind me, tapping her foot. And I'm like, yeah. I have a podcast to record. You're not going nowhere till that. She doesn't sound like that. You're not going anywhere until that that chicken is on that that Weber. And I was like, oh, for the love of God. So she's sitting watching me, and I'm like, can't you just do the chicken so I can go record this fucking podcast? And then I yeah. have this other little bitch of a human being messaging me, going, Are you ready to record the podcast? And I'm like, Bro, back off. Just back off. <laughs> And yeah, then I came know. up and smashed all my stuff to pieces. But then you see, you know, it's all very well having your side. You see, you, I, I've got to deal with my side now. Wow. Because I'm, I'm meant to be on a phone call right now with Yasmin and her parents. Yeah. Well, a Skype call. Yeah. 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 Do you know what happens when I don't do things like that? What? Well, I don't, I, maybe I've got Mussolini or, or Stalin. I don't uh-huh. know. But I've got, the, I've got to have to deal with that now. You see? She's going to go, what happened? And then I'm going to go, well, Dylan had tech trouble and then he had to cook a chicken. He said, well, why couldn't he have done that earlier? And it's like, I tell you what, I, you know what you should do? Well, here, here's my question. Should... Why can't we record the podcast earlier? I keep saying to you, 4.30 is like, Cause I was, I'm a family I was man. out on a bike. 4.30 is like such a, like that from 4.30 onward is like shit time. From 4.30 till about eight <laughs> is like, as a parent, is like, get your kids fed, Get their get them washed, get them ready for bed, clean dishes, do all that shit, pack it away. And you're like, here, four thirty for the podcast, and I'm like, well, is that well, because you said four thirty for the last other, few days? Any other time of the day would suit. Yeah. I wonder well, if there's a, a more optimal time in the morning, before effectively, what Ryan and I try to do here is find a time during the day we can record the podcast that affects no one else. We should do it do at you know like pro- six a.m. Do you know what the Do you know what the problem is? What? Well, well, it's not you or I. No. It's not you, right? Just saying. It's not. It's Pamela and Yasmin. Pamela and Yasmin <laughs> and the kids. Yeah. It, it's rich, <laughs> the thing is, if we weren't in lockdown, this wouldn't be an issue. We could run it to our schedule and it wouldn't it would be fine. But it's because oh, everyone's yeah, yeah. in the house all on top mm. of each other. So you've that's, got... That's the thing. Yeah, you've got a full gym in your house. I have a gym in my right, house, yeah. That, that you have to work around, which... Yeah, which has that goes times, live. Yeah, that goes live four times a day and has 15 different PT sessions. And then I yeah. have a family of idiots just running around, making noise, needing fed. Who do they think they are? Who need, yeah. You know, feed yourselves. Great. Is what I say to them. Yeah, exactly. What am I going to no, do we with the mouse, by the way? What uh, am I going to do with the mouse uh, situation? I would uh, get a dustpan and brush, uh, sweep it into the dustpan and brush and uh, throw it away. I actually meant, I don't think it's going to go in recycling. I, I meant I, I that oh. wasn't I meant what am I going to do? Buy, I'm not going to buy a new magic mouse because they're possibly the worst pieces of shit. Anyway, so you went for a cycle, did you? Little bike ride. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little Brilliant. bike ride. Yeah. So um, I was I wasn't together? inspired. Yeah, both of us together. I wasn't inspired by what I saw you do this morning. Yeah. Because uh, I'll be honest, full athlete. I ju- I just that whole lycra thing. I yeah, actually, there's two things about that. A I don't know. That lycra thing has never looked cool. It will never, ever mm-hmm. look cool. And wearing a cycle helmet, it doesn't matter what cycle helmet you wear. You're always going to look like a bellend. And yeah. it's kind of a disappointment because you look at like cycling, you always look like a bellend. Then you have look at like a motorbike and it's like you have cool helmets, you wear leather, jeans, denim. You look bitching. Do you? And on a, yeah, I, I think you do. I never, I, I've never you... seen a motorcyclist in my life and gone, they look cool. Really? Uh, what, motor, you've, gone, you, you've looked at a guy in a yellow riders. and orange jersey and yeah. gone, really cool. Well, yellow and orange. Package, you're, you're talking about high-vis city. No, dude, I'm talking about get, all that if you're, stupid If you're shit. the right build, right? Like there's a dude who rides around Bangor, right? And he is fucking, yeah. he's so cool looking for a roadie. Mm-hmm. His bike is, is matte black. Like Becky and Chris's mm-hmm. helicopter, everything mm-hmm. on it's matte black. He cycles in all black clothes, right? Mm-hmm. Everything's black for head to toe. He's like a ninja. He's lean. He's an absolute machine on the bike, and he just has two really, really bright lights front and back. And every time I see him, I'm like, that guy looks cool. But like motocross riders, I think look cool. 
But no, like, they do look cool. Yeah, but then Harley they're riders, cool. no thanks. Nothing what, cool but, about that. And anyone on like normal motorbikes, I've never seen someone on a road road bike like an actual road motorbike and go on. They look cool. Ever. They look a lot cooler than no. anyone in like. See, I disagree. I, I, just, I see you look like you're on the special bus it's ridiculous but you're it's looking ridiculous. talking about high viz no no I'm just talking about lycra all that shit <gasps> it just looks it just does not look cool see, and the helmets don't look cool the glasses don't look cool Sorry. see I disagree alright because and funny enough, I was chatting to someone about this on Instagram today um, and I think it's one of those situations where when you're in the lifestyle it looks cool mm. so I, it, you kind of have to step into it <laughs> going lycra is not cool so what's the coolest you can look in lycra it's like wetsuits aren't cool no one looks good in a wetsuit but surfing is cool so wetsuits are cool see so cycling's the, not that cool is it really? no it's it's not that cool but if you're into cycling and you because i used to ride mountain bikes so i, I rode bmx hmm. I, I dabbled very lightly in downhill wasn't for me did enduro riding love that um and like not cross country stuff but more enduro style and love that and then someone was like um you should ride in uh bib tights or what did i do first oh i went i got a road bike for tr just for fitness for training and hmm. loved it absolutely loved it but I used to cycle in, in shorts, in like mountain bike style shorts. Um, mm. The same way as I just would have ridden my mountain bike um, with a pair of like padded shorts underneath. And then someone was like, mm. dude, you should ride in um, bib, sh bib shorts, like the ones that come up over your shoulders. I was like, dude, no thanks. <laughs> no, no. And they're like, it does. and then you know what I worked out? It looks less cool riding a road bike on the road in shorts and a loose t-shirt than it does in Lycra. You look like more of a tit because you haven't committed. It's like, just commit, put the Lycra on and commit. Cause at least people, at least you, the problem that, with that's... Lycra is fat men in Lycra. That has ruined oh. it for, because Lycra, you, do, you don't need Lycra. You could ride a baggy t-shirt, but, but bib tights. Yeah. There's a reason for bib tights. I totally defend bib tights, but yeah. you could just run a regular t-shirt on top. The problem is fat men go and buy like Tinkoff Saxo kit, top to bottom, brand themselves up and ride about. And you're like, bro, what are you like 25 stone you don't need that mm. you don't need to be aerodynamic you don't need aerodynamic <laughs> clothing not, dude because yeah, you are literally how tight those yeah are. you are blocking underpasses you know mm. so don't worry about that but what but it's one of those things though where it's still it really surprises me how like like it's the cycle helmet thing you always look ridiculous doesn't matter what cycle helmet it is so it's like you know like motorbike helmets you can get really cool ones like you know jet if you get like a black one and you know whatever and it looks really nice but i just think it doesn't matter what a helmet one. nah like you know, the like guys who ride those super 73s that dude tristan's helmet yes. he wears on the super His 73 yes sick. that's exactly what i'm yeah. talking Ooh, about that ride kind of a bicycle thing. that yeah but it's only you can't but you, see, you can't ride a bike Should a bicycle yeah. with one of those on because you just look ridiculous yeah. so you're left to go well i've got to buy a cycle helmet and it just surprises me it's one of those things where they've not gone they're like, you know, when I was younger, they were always going on about having to wear a cycle helmet and they still are, you know, you have to wear a cycle helmet because it's safer and all this kind of stuff. And I, I still, at the time when I was younger, I was like, but they look ridiculous and I'd rather be dead than look like that. All oh, right. You know? Okay. Well, do and I, I, go, go to your website right now, the websites mm -hmm. and go onto the websites, the websites and go to yeah. POC, POC helmets. Right, type that in. POC, POC helmets. Helmet. Their okay. helmets are cool looking. Like they make cool helmets, cool glasses. No, no, they are See, fucking they still, cool, man. They, they are cool. They still look like you're. No, they still they're look like, stupid. You're gonna get an eighties like Power Ranger. They're amazing looking. They're expensive. No. Oh Christ, they are, aren't they? Oh, very yeah, so that, that, but they still look stupid. Like wow. cycle helmets, I think I just think just look stupid See, all the time. Like for example, right? I have. Um, uh, Pro Tech, uh, like freestyle helmet for riding the, the mountain bike and, and BMX and stuff in. Mm. And there's loads of other helmets that have come out that look kind of cool, the er. But like you ride in one of those, what, a thousand helmets thousand, or something? Yeah. Is that what they're called? Yeah. And thousand. I think yeah. they look stupider because they're trying to not look like a cycle helmet. So I'm like, wear a helmet that looks like a cycle helmet. It's, I would, like, I can't wear those, those helmets because I see yeah. them and I go, I, I'm with you on that. They, they're not. They don't look like there was this whole trend for years in the cycling industry where you had like 
helmets that looked like hats and I was like they just oh, there's nothing just wear the cycle helmet just accept from mm. the get go that cycling ain't got that sort of cred <laughs> and just look as cool as you can look yeah you know within the, the limitations of being a cyclist mm. because even like you're talking about pull up socks my mate Ali like the reason I was wearing pull up socks today, we were you were like so I was on the one wheel today and Ryan gave me a hard time because I was wearing torn jeans and pulled up socks and he was like that you're you're too old and fat to dress like that. <laughs> That's effectively what you were saying, right? Between yeah. the lines. And uh, by well, between the lines, see between I mean, the those lines. are literally between the, the folds. Yeah, between the folds, all right? <laughs> and then I said to him, well, I didn't do that as a style thing. My legs were cold, so I pulled my socks up. Yeah, now, which I mate, agreed with. Yeah, now I'm at Ali. He mm. legit, that's how he dresses. Like, mm. he'll come around for a barbecue and he'll be wearing like shorts that hang just below the knee and then pull up mm -hmm. socks. There's a gap of like, and I go, bro, there's nothing yeah. cool about the pulled up socks. The only time pull up socks are cool is if you are a skateboarder in Venice Beach and they're white mm -hmm. socks with two colored bands on them and you're wearing some Vans. But if you're walking or, around yeah. in a pair of like 510 mountain bike shoes and some pulled up socks, gray or blue socks and a pair of blue, this, but he disagrees because that's the style in the mountain bike scene. And if you travel anywhere in the world, mountain bikers yeah, yeah, yeah. dress like that. But that's, that's fine, but you're at a bug here. Yeah, but you're that's not... the, but mountain biking is quite different because it's kind of like casual. It's not like you wouldn't just pitch up to a barbecue in your Lycra. Or you could, no. but you'd be asked to leave. Yeah, you could. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's the same, but I think that weird though. So you can't. Well, I suppose it's like you can't just turn up in your um, your paintball gear to the to the barbecue. Well, that, this is so this is what I like doing on the weekends. Yeah, this is what yeah, I just mask, relax. I was just saying, mask would be weird, yeah. but actually that would be quite normal now. No, but this is the, this now, is why yeah. I've always hated like, uh, which is why I didn't want to wear lycra at the beginning when I saw it because I was like, I just want to be able to cycle, mm. go to a coffee shop, and not look like a dick. But now you mm. have to do that thing where you hop off your bike and you hobble across the ground, oh. trying to slip on your cleats, and you sound like a a cow. With mm. with like high heels on, oh, can I have a cappuccino, please? And they're just looking at yeah. you going, dick. But you wouldn't you know get what? a cappuccino if you're a cyclist. You have to get like an espresso, don't you? I I goat. do I do espresso and water. Yeah. Just because of Italian influence it, in cycling, it's, <laughs> but, it's it's coffee doping, isn't it? That's what yeah, they call it. But here they get a lot of fattuccinos and biscuits and stuff. And basically, a lot of guys just go for a bike ride so they can go and get biscuits. And pies this and is what my uh, my buddy in the states. He's uh, he's uh, he's what mid fifties now, and he cycles a lot. And um, his him, him and his buddies used to go out like loads doing proper cycling. And they'd just go out. They'd do like I don't know four hundred kilometers or whatever the hell it was. And then they'd go and have burgers at the end of it. And I'd be like, four hundred kilometers. That kind of... Sorry, four hundred kilometers. I don't know. That's I'm just saying far. a number. That's that's like you've you've exceeded reasonable. Like that's. Do you reckon all... you could do that on a one wheel? You could do 300 across France, I think. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, no, they, no, but yeah. they, well, whatever distance they do, they uh -huh. then they just go out drinking beers, like have a couple of beers and like a burger and chips afterwards. And yeah. I always thought that's kind of counterintuitive, right? It's yeah. like it doesn't make sense because no. you're not because you're sitting down effectively. Yeah. Really, aren't well, you? Well, I mean. No, so from a stomach point of view, you are. Yes, you are. Your legs are getting stuff, and your arm, your arms. It's I would a, imagine, but essentially your belly's you not going anywhere. It depends how you it? ride your bike. The problem is, a lot of guys get into road cycling. For example, as road cycling is the culprit here, not mountain biking, because mountain biking re retains its coolness. It still has a bit of because it's kind of edgy. You you can wear regular clothes. You, a, it's a bit hardcore. Road cycling, people just call you fudge packer for a reason because you're just cycling around looking like you're packing fudge up your hole. Yeah, right? but. It's the culprit and the people to blame are the mammals. Yeah. And it's the guys that are that go out for the like group spins for the chat, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But I feel mm. like it's the it's the whole getting into lycra. But that comes back to that theory that I have about everything is great and everything is shit. It just depends how into it you get. And so these guys love it. They want, I mean, I've, I was part of that. And you see it. They love the road cycling. They know everything about a Tour de France. They follow every stage of the Giro. They know everything about it. But they, they're they still o wildly overweight and insist on wearing Team Sky like, gear head to toe. Oh. Whereas I'm like, I'm like black bed tights and like I have a couple of couple of tops. I try to say like as, as mm. I'm, the problem is I wear chain reaction stuff because I have yeah, yeah, brand, brand and stuff from, but it's really yeah. good gear. 
and I'm like, I just don't want to buy any any cycle more cycle gear. So I just ride. Well, you don't now. need to, do you? No, because you got you probably got it free. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> no, that's exactly what I did. Yeah. So, um, the problem is that those guys, they're the one. That's what's ruined it and made it kind of a bit stupid. Where if people were just like bib tights and a t-shirt and just go for a cycle, you know, until they're at mm. the point because they get into it from a visual stance. But they don't get the, into it from the the, the sports the side. health point like, of yeah, view. Like that's the bit that I See, like. See, this is this is the po- this is the thing I have a massive issue with. It's the people that you know they'll cycle to work as if they're going to they're cycling the Tour de France. Yeah. And it's like, dude, you're going to work in a bank. Yeah. You're not cycling up and down. Yeah. It's four miles France. from your house to work, dude. Yeah. And that I find really interesting because when you go to a country like um, the Netherlands. Uh, or Denmark to go to Copenhagen I love the way they cycle out there because it's very functional yeah. it's like everyone cycles because I don't know if you've been to Copenhagen no. it's there's not many people there it's like not got a big population but everything is really far away from each other so that's why everyone cycles because we went there thinking yeah we'll just walk around uh, it's not like Stockholm you know okay. you can't walk around it you have to take buses but yeah so you all cycle and I love the fact that it's just like everyone's just like you know commuting commute yeah. cycling yeah but they're not assholes like they are in the uk yeah they're just everyone cycles and everyone just gets on with it everyone's just like this really, cycling though yeah and it's just like everyone's really cool and vibey about it and yeah. i i really like that side it's just even now when you go and you cycle anywhere you get these bell ends just going like so fast next year it's like dude mm-hmm. just chill out oh and you've just gone through a red light i am waiting for the day when some I see a cyclist go through a red light and him just get utterly hammered by a car. That's and then I wild. can go up. What? That no, that <laughs> is wild. Just like, R- road cyclists. Are it's so, mental, right? Man, they're so bad for it. Like I get really. Because, ag- I'll shout. I've stopped the traffic lights before and had another roadie come past me and just mm. go straight through. And I'm know, like, unless it's like you know, six in the morning and you, there's no cars on that road and you're not being registered by the 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 pad on the road because sometimes that happens yeah. it happened to me this morning i had to go through yeah. a red light because it didn't register me i was track standing there for like a full minute and i was like come on lights and i, th- and I was like mm. i'm just gonna go through them because i can't wait um yeah but people do it in mid traffic and they think oh i'll just oh, i'll just do what just... i want because i'm on a bicycle because I, I, just I think it's really unfair because like whoever's obeying the rules in the car are just going through a green light and then you know having to deal with that because that guy couldn't wait because yeah. he's, you know, clearly going for the yellow freaking jersey. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. And it's just like, well, he's the donut I shop. feel really, I, you know, and then a lot of cyclists get a bad rap because of that, because of behavior like that, you know? Yeah. And it's just, and it's really simple just to stop at a red light. And it's not like it's hard. No. And it's <laughs> you know? just, it's the rule. So just, just do it. It's the rule. Yeah, it's just weird. But then again, you know, at the same time, part of having a bike it's the way you do it as I know well you, i know what you're about to say it's the having the bicycles a, is a bonus so like it, yeah it's, a, it's kind so, of as long as you're respectful so, you can yeah because sometimes what i'll do is like i'll stop and it's like oh i know this like takes you so i'll get off my bike and i'll go and follow the pedestrians go around across the thing go on the other side and just carry on my way yeah and to me i think that's acceptable i'm i'm with you on it so here's a like, prime example i did it one day cycling down to the train station i used to get the train to work in belfast and i would cycle the bike to the train station park there so i cycled down the road traffic yeah. the whole way down the street right up like loads of traffic so I, it was all stopped so i filtered through the middle of it right up to the front to the cycle path bit where i would normally stop at the cycle bit in front of the cars and the thing goes green i'll pedal off it's only like a mile mm. to the station from my house but as i rolled up to the lights they went red and then the, yeah. the pedestrian lights went green to cross. But mm. there was only a pedestrian on the far end. It was a big, it was a huge main intersection. So as I went yeah. filtered in, I just rode right and followed the pedestrian route around until I got yeah. to my exit. Then I filtered back onto the road and cycled off. Affected mm. no one, rode past no one. The only thing I did is beat all the traffic. Then yeah. just as I was cycling down the road to the train station, a guy on a motorbike came past uh-huh. and rode up next to me on his motorbike, flipped his visor up, and started just giving me the finger and screaming at me and pulled me over, like cut me off and stopped me. Hmm. And then got off and took his helmet off and started shouting yeah. at me. And I was like, what? And he was like, what the fuck is wrong with you? You dickhead. And I was like, what is, what, what, what's happening? And he goes, you just, what you just did there. And I was like, what did I do? He's like, you can't just go through all the filters through all the traffic and then go on the pedestrian bit. And I'm like, well, I can actually, cause the pedestrian bits, it's got a bike symbol as well. It's for bikes and pedestrians. Yeah. 
And he goes, you can't have your pick of the crop. You either ride on the road or on the pavement. So I'm like, I'm not allowed to ride on the pavements, but I can use pede the pedestrian cycle crossing as well as utilize the road. Plus, I didn't interfere yeah. with anyone. So what's the problem? And he goes, oh, you're just a wanker. And then puts thing on and then it burns off on his bike. And I was like, Jesus, yeah. what a twat. And guess what? Parked yeah. his bike at the train station and got the train. So I just walked past him and went, calm down, fella. And he looked at me, he's like, fuck off. And I was like, <laughs> but I get it if I knocked an old woman down or cut someone up, but I hadn't affected anyone. And yeah. as long as you and do the thing it respectfully, is, it, it, you can benefit from yeah, both. Because it, that, but that's, the, that's what I see as the whole point of having a bike, is yeah. that you can weave in and out of traffic and then bypass the whole system, bypass the system. But it's when you're going at 30 miles an hour or whatever on a, on a road bike, just going, I'm not stopping at all, just going straight through this red yeah. light. Yeah, that's, that's unacceptable. Just yeah, that's stupid. Yeah, you know. Whereas if you stop, you have a good look around, and then you're like, okay, I'll just get off and go on the site, or I'll just, you know, creep. I think that's okay. As long again, like if it's a pathway where in like London or something, where there's a hot light, it's like fifty pedestrians going across the road. Don't do it. Yeah, because that's stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, that's, well, that's um, it. It's painful that I used to cycle to work actually um, mm. as well years ago when I worked in the, the bike shop, and it was twenty two miles each way. Wow. Um, and I would do that like two, two, sometimes three, normally twice a week, right? But I would cycle that oh, no. in full Lycra. But that's because I would do it super early in the morning with a bat, and in the pissing rain as well. And I would do it and I would go flat out. So it would take me like an hour and 10 minutes to get there. So mm. you like, I'm averaging well, that's a about, long time. Well, for 20, I did that in about 45 minutes, somewhere fixy. 22 miles. Yeah, just get just get a single speed. Do it much quicker. So you're, av you're averaging. You're averaging 22 miles an hour, you fixie. Yeah, 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 about that. Yeah. So I used to, I would average when I rode to work at about 19 miles an hour. Um, but that's because I hopped on a bike and I pedaled fast. So that whole thing about you yeah, saying yeah. you're sitting down, like I was out of the saddle a lot. But that's very yeah. different from like like commuting. Like when I cycle to Belfast now, I just mm. hop on my single speed and I just do it in jeans and a yeah. t-shirt. Oh yeah, I understand. Yes, and I just take that's, it nice that's, that's and slow the way to and go. casual, and yeah, and and stay out of people's way and stuff like that. Try to take like yeah. back paths and things. So there you I go. Have that, yeah, cycling. Yeah. Ah. Mm. I see. I I'm a big fan of the the single speed, yeah. just like a commuting bike. I just love it. I've got my my one. Was it real cheap bike? Great. Yeah. Love it. It's so much fun just to cruise around with. Minimal yeah. effort to fix as well, which is what's great about them. Yeah. 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 Have you ever ridden fixies? Uh, well, I can do that with my bike. I just need to change the back yeah. tire. Yeah, like a flip-flop uh, wheel. Back wheel around. Flip around. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So if you have it on the wrong way, your tires don't, uh, your wheels don't stop. I, or is um, it pedals don't I got stop? a puncture once and a friend just happened to be in the area and he lent me a tool to take the wheel off to fix the puncture. I put it all yeah. back together and give him his tool back and he drove off and then I realized I put the flip-flop hub on the wrong way. Mm. I had to cycle the whole way back from Belfast to Bangor on a fixed gear, which is Yeah, see, idea. I don't like that really. No, no yeah, I like being able to thing. freewheel. You know, yeah, just go because you I can't do. go down a hill going. You can't. Whee! You can't hop up curbs. <laughs> well, you can, but it's very tricky. Yeah. Anyway, but you can us, balance better. Where are we? Yeah. At? Yeah. yeah. Oh, well. Thirty minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Just might as well. Cut off here. Um, so, yeah. So that's Sunday? us on episode thirty. So Monday. Thirty-four. No, it's Monday, isn't, isn't it? it? Yeah. We're yeah. Another, thirty-four. Into yeah. Week. Oh, just a just a final thought. Where I think we're going to be in lockdown for another three weeks. Yeah. So I think if my math is right, we should hit about fifty episodes. That's what I like to hear. Oh, that's yeah. Good. Which that's we, we'd do a big party for the number 50. Yeah. If you are listening to this and you're enjoying it, do us a favor and share it. Tell your friends Please. to watch it. Because one of the hardest yeah. things about doing this is getting people to stop and just watch the show. Because we think or a lot of people would all listen to it. We think a lot more people would yeah. enjoy it if they took the time to sit down and watch it. But thanks for watching and hanging around this long. And catch you guys tomorrow. I saluted. That's it. You I saluted. saluted. I just waited for I you saluted. to say something. <laughs> <laughs>